I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Shlomi Benheim. He is the CEO and co-founder of JFrog and Yaniv Shani. He is the head of research and development at JFrog. Thank you both for joining me. Wonderful morning from California. Great to join you today, Judy. Thank you. Good evening from Israel. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Great to have you both here. Now, a quick note to our viewers before we get started. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. Okay, so Shlomi, can you tell me, give me a high level intro as to what JFrog does and how your tool set is helping companies during the COVID crisis? Yes, um, well, JFrog is a software company in the domain that people will call DevOps. We are in a mission um, of making software releases, the whole software update smoother for everyone on the planet. Everything is already powered by software, even this uh, session uh, is powered by software. And there is a huge demand of, uh, of the community to have a better experience when it comes to software update. Now we know that um, companies that will find a cure for, for COVID, hopefully very soon, will be powered by a very strong software organization. Therefore, we think that our solution might uh, help and might power. And this was uh, an idea that uh, came from our R&D team, from developers, by developers, for the developers community, and hopefully it would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Yaniv, how does the JFrog DevOps platform support organizations that are fighting the virus? As Shlomi mentioned, everything is powered by software. And because of that, any organization that develops software and solution to fight COVID will require a fast and secure delivery of software updates. This include medical device, machine learning algorithm, a cloud-based web application, mobile apps, and more. JFOG platform provides the infrastructure to manage the entire software development life cycle from code development phase to the distribution of the software updates. We provide a set of tools and solution that streamlines the process and assure a fast and secure software update delivery to any type of software application. Um, Shlomi, is software free? So, uh, Judy, this is not a sales exercise for us. Uh, this is not kind of a marketing campaign. Uh, we really um, um, thought about it a lot. And uh, when, when our R&D came with this uh, authentic request and idea, wonderful idea, I have to say, uh, we took it seriously and we don't want it to be temporary. So JFrog will sponsor any organization on the planet that will help fighting COVID and not just by providing our free platform, our DevOps platform. We will also provide all the IT infrastructure on the cloud provider and we will sponsor that. So the answer is yes, it's going to be free. Now, Yanni, why was this something JFrog wanted to bring to market? As you know, we face a truly unprecedented situation that affects all of our surroundings. And during these special times, our core belief at JFrog and in our R&D is that we take, must take an active role and not stand still. As a tech company, we also know that software and technology will have a central role in supporting the healthcare system, governments, and actually all of us in fighting COVID. And because of that, we believe the J4 platform will enable organization to accelerate the software development life cycle. And we felt obligated to give back and support this effort. Furthermore, we do believe that everyone and every business should be doing what they can do in this special period. Question for both of you. Can you explain the process of software updates right now and why it's necessary? Yeah, any of you want to go first? I will give it a try, although it's a very technical question that it's hard to explain in high level words, but I will try. In general, uh, the software development lifecycle is an iterative process that includes the development, the build, and the distribution of the software. Uh, there is an ongoing uh, development that is happening. You need to actually push 
new changes to the software, introduce new features and bugs. And we're actually offering a solution that builds the software on the cloud. Later on, before um, the software is ready to be shipped, we offer product that enables the users to secure the software by scanning the final build and make sure that it's free of security vulnerabilities. And in the final stage, we offer a solution that allows uh, our customers to distribute the softwares to any type of end device. All in all, uh, JFrog Platforms offers a software infrastructures to accelerate the developers and also assure secured software delivery. Yeah, and Judy, I would just add, look at, look at our world. Uh, we are all addicted uh, to software. And uh, 10 years ago, when we found the JFrog, we identified one need. There would be more software, there would be more consumer data time. And the infrastructure that software is being built and released on must be changed. And this is uh, the innovation that JFrog came with. And uh, people today call it DevOps. Uh, this is the automation of the old process. And this is uh, what we offer to, to the world, to the community, to our customers, and now to the COVID fighters. Yaniv, what sort of companies are using this program and how can one learn more about this program? Okay, I will start with the second question. In order to learn uh, more about the program, uh, the applicant can simply uh, browse into our website, www.jfrog.com slash COVID-19. There is a dedicated program page that you can simply register and apply. No credit card is uh, required. After submission, we are providing immediate access to the platforms and the tools. In parallel, we are reviewing the application and reaching out to the relevant uh, uh, organization and offering them what else we can support them. In terms of companies that already taken the advantage, uh, I can truly say that it's a global response. We see applications coming in from North America, Europe, Asia, and Middle East. Also, there is a broad diversity of application, both in terms of solution and also in terms of uh, the entities that applied. Let me just name a few examples. We have, uh, for example, startups that are developing medical a device for diagnostics of coronavirus. Uh, we have a global enterprise that develop a cloud-based solution for early diagnostics based on machine learning algorithms applied on patient data. A group of volunteers reach out to us. Uh, they are developing a public web portal to support healthcare systems, uh, share relevant COVID uh, spread information to the wide community. And more. Uh, overall, <laughs> looks very exciting to see the global efforts and the diversity of it. Okay, and finally, Shlomi, any final thoughts from you? Yes. Uh, first of all, I, I have to say we have 600 employees at JFrog, and um, this project makes me even more proud of uh, what they can do and how can they give back to the community. Uh, JFrog was founded uh, based on the open source community and, and we got a very big hug from the community that pushed us to where we are today. And this is one of those chances that you can actually give back. And when it came from our R&D, that was super authentic for me. It was beyond anything else that we could do for uh, fighting the coronavirus. Now, we live in a day that is very unique in terms of uh, the world become united. We are all everywhere on, on the planet. We are united fighting the, the same enemy. And you from, from New York now, I'm in California. This just proved that, that we need a better software solution in order to find uh, a cure for the COVID-19 uh, disease. And hopefully it will come soon. So best, best wishes to everyone. Good health, stay strong and stay, stay united. And may the frog be with us. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you both for joining me on NYSE. Thank you so much.